we are at uh, Malimali Primary School. And uh, in this school here, I'm privileged to have the deputy head teacher who is here with us. And of course, he informed us that uh, the pump is not effectively functioning. And uh, we have come here with our O&M team, that is the operations and maintenance team, to do a diagnosis of what could be the problem. And what we have discovered is that uh, the pump is not producing water after the three standard strokes. So when we do one, two, three, no water, that tells us that there is a problem with the loading mechanism of the, of the pump. So what we want to do right now, and uh, operations and maintenance, we want to replace the plunger and the U-seal so that we can be able to have this water flow immediately after three strokes. So allow me to invite our team, of course, led by Ken, uh, just, uh, Julius and uh, Stanley to undertake the operation according to the way they usually do it. You are welcome. Yes, thank you. So right now they are trying to remove the handle because there is no way uh, they can be able to reach to the plunger and the football without removing the handle. So right now they have removed the handle and uh, they have also removed the bushes and right now uh, they have started the process of uh, removing the rods. You can also offer them a helping hand. Thank you. So we want to make sure that the rods are well uh, uh, kept and that is why we are putting them on this canvas you are seeing here. Yes, right now they have actually gotten to the plunger. The u seal is also gone. So definitely that is what is going to be done. So they are going to replace the u seal. Because the u seal is supposed to be at this particular point and it's missing. So what Ken is doing right now, he is preparing the plastic u seal so that it can be able to be fitted on this particular part. Good. Yeah. I've now seen they have uh, fitted it. Right now they are also uh, applying uh, the lubrication oil so that it can be able to reduce the friction. And uh, right now, uh, the team is also making sure that the road centralizers are in good condition. And according to what I've seen, they have removed these two. They are not in a good condition. Okay. The rest are okay? Yeah. Yeah, so out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two are faulty, so we have replaced the road centralizers, so these ones are going to be disposed of and uh, we are now good to go. So we are now fitting the roads back into the pump. Yeah, Stanley is telling me at times it can be so heavy uh, loading it, so I have to offer a hand. Okay. It has started becoming heavy. <laughs> yeah, Julius has come in to offer a helping hand. I don't have I don't have experience on that. <laughs> okay. So Stanley is trying to see whether it's loading. You can see one stroke and the pump is able to produce water. 
which to us is a clear indication of a successful operation. Yeah, so right now they are trying to fit back the, uh, the bushes. Uh, the bushes have been put on the right position. And right now, Ken is uh, bringing the handle. They're also checking bushes for the handle. They are good according to uh, what I am seeing them do. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they are positioning it so well so that it can be at the center uh, to avoid friction of the rods and the pipes. So according to what I'm seeing, it has been rightly positioned. The handle has been rightly positioned. Now they are good. They are putting back the head, which is a sign of uh, success. The operation has been successful. And I would want to try it also myself. And the next activity we want to engage ourselves in is uh, uh, chlorinating the, 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 the borehole. The process of chlorination here is mandatory because we were handling the rods with bare hands. And uh, right now, there is no way we can just leave the station and go without making sure that we undertake shock chlorination. We are going to do it uh, with the chlorine. Yeah, we are going to, to apply two spoons of chlorine. We usually mix it properly before we pour it into the pump. Right now the team is removing the head so that they can have some access point for pouring in the solution. So right now they want to lift it so that Ken can uh, chlorinate. Zungusha, zungusha, zungusha. Yes. So the chlorination process is taking place so that we can disinfect the, the roads and every other part that uh, we were able to uh, handle. Because we cannot take anything for granted here. And uh, of course it is explaining to ownership here. The head teacher says this is our water, so we must also take responsibility in making sure that we are able to fix it together. So initially we did over six strokes without seeing water. But right now, I'm very sure three strokes will give us water. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Less than three. Actually, at the, at the second stroke, water has come out. So this, in itself, is a very successful process.